Heather and Brett. Let's go. Right, let's start off with Heather this time, shall we? Chef, what I made for you is a black ramen miso soup. I poached the black cod in the actual broth. Overall, your whole entire dish, it tastes very sweet. Sweet. Between the acid, the spice, I think it's Asian ingredient, but not necessarily Chinese. Brett, explain, please. Uh, so here I have a pan-seared cod with Chinese five spice and powdered ginger. The miso butter is not necessary at all for this dish, but the cod is really well cooked. Thank mm -hmm. you, Chef. Absolutely. Come on, Brett. I think uh, this one's going to go red. Brett, Chef, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, Chef. I'm really nervous. She's a tough judge, and I think that we were all in this fluff zone of, of working with Chinese cuisine, and now we have to follow through with actual Chinese cuisine. It's very well seasoned, and it tastes good, yeah. but Chinese cuisine has this thing that you want it, all the shapes match. So you have long bean going with your noodles, but you have big chunk of chicken. Yeah. Her critiques are so thorough and so intense. It's very intimidating. Traditionally, this combination really works, but in this case, it's not coming together as a whole. Does the point go to Scotland or does the point go to Kanae? This is my pick, uh, Scotty. You deserve a point. Scotland, congratulations. Yeah, I need share plates for mine. It's meant to be like. It's like, it's a chopsticky type plate. My dish is not even close to being what she's saying to everyone else about how I should be able to get some in every bite. Right, next up, duck breast. Motto and Ariel. When I think of Chinese cuisine, it screams duck. Beijing duck, right? Beijing duck. I'm from Beijing. Are you guys ready? Good luck. I'm totally fucked. Oh, wow. Interesting uh, choice of plates. Plates. This is a elongated Chinese plate. I can see that. It's a little bit difficult to eat. I think if you on this, maybe a large oval plate, yeah. just a little bit better. But. Flavor's really good. Thank you, Chef. It's just very awkward to eat. Motto. So here I have duck three ways for you. Oh, wow. Duck fried rice, five spice grilled duck breast, and a little duck crack lantern, chicharrones. Um, do you use Sichuan pepper corn in this? Yes, in the charred uh, plum sauce. While you bit into it, it literally just took over everything. So it numbs your palate. Heard that. Chef, does the point go to air on the blue team or motto on the red team? Ariel. Thank Ariel. you, Chef. Thank you. I wanted to go against Ariel because I felt like she was the strongest and I wanted that challenge. They both swung yeah. hard. That was a mistake. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. And it all comes down to the spot brought. Kane and Jose. Oh, tiebreaker. Jose, describe your dish, please, to uh, Chef. This dish, I served the uh, prawns with the head on. So the idea is to suck out the uh, juice out the head. I am going to follow your direction. I'm going to suck the head. Please, suck the head. Wow, flavorful. Yeah. Head is more seasoned than a noodle. Mm -hmm. oh. How does that happen? Can I describe your dish to chef? I have a cold cashew sauce with the prawns that are poached. The fact that I'm allergic to nuts, I just had to, you know, depend on an Ariel. Also Chinese, very aromatic. Flavor's really good, but I think it's a little bit on the dry side. Right, take the dishes back in line. Please let these flavors just pour through. The big question is, does the point go to the blue team or the red team? The blue team. Blue team. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes! Your brain, my mouth. Yes. <laughs> Join me in thanking this incredible chef for giving up her day. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Ladies, congratulations. Thank you, chef. The girls are reaping all the rewards and having all the good times and all the relaxation. The one reward that I got to go on, we were on safari, and we got a fucking stupid hat.